Have you ever had nightmares from a media you have taken? Movies, games, <laughs> books, or maybe even music? Because I know I have for three of them. Because I don't read. <laughs> but how could I have gotten nightmares from music? Yeah, I... I, I okay, it's weird, but it happened. Was it a heavy metal song? No, that's stereotypical. Was it a song about suicide and depression? No, but it gave me depression. <laughs> mm, okay. Then what was it? Well, it was a song recommended to me by you guys. A Vocaloid song called Secrets of Wisteria. Now the song sounds fine. Okay, hear me out, it sounds fine. It's like a normal creepy Vocaloid song. Why does everything for Vocaloid have to be so creepy? When they want to make it creepy, they just do such a good job. The lyrics don't seem too bad. Oh, oh, the song's about killing kids, really? They're not affecting me that much. Oh. Oh, uh, oh, so the, oh, no, oh. oh. I just thought it was a creepy song and that's about it, but not. How was your hand? That is until I discovered it was on a real life murder of, of Grace. Grace. But what the f They get torn apart and then May 19th, 18th, January 16th, Grill Quinn ran quick. Is this based on Rose's story? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This just got even creepier. Yeah, a real life murder. Um, yeah, so there's a song on a real life murder and it's fucking disturbing and I hate it. Yep, I can't be bothered getting into framing camera, so you're dealing with this. Yeah, so everything got a lot more creepier just like that. Ooh, that, that felt cool. Did it look cool? I don't know. I'm pretty lame. Oh no. Oh look at these camera skills. Look, look, look. It's following me. Whoa. Whoa. How did I do that? I don't know. Camera change. So I did what any sane person would do. I read the comments. Oh, no. Ways to stay awake rated. Coffee, 3 out of 10. Energy drink, 5 out of 10. This song, 11 out of 10. Yeah. So this is based on a true story. Thing is, he was so utterly fucked up, he didn't regret anything. He was very open at the end about it and almost prideful. I'm glad he fried. Fried? Oh, like electrocuted? Not very fun fact. Albert Fish had a bag with the things he planned on using to kill Grace and he almost left them on the train but Grace reminded him and even went back and got it for him. Oh now it's a fun fact of the day. Yeah! Grace didn't stumble upon the house. She was invited to a supposed birthday party by Albert Fish and her, and her mother let her go with the man. Thinking that it was going to be a harmless birthday party, about two weeks later she gets a letter saying basically it took nine days to eat her entire body. Wait, what? They had to twist the story a little bit so you wouldn't get too suspicious of who is this actually was until you play the song backwards. Ah. <laughs> Fun fact, the weird word phantasmagorical means having a fantastic or deceptive appearance. Albert Fish looked like a sweet old man but was really a monster. Oh no. No, no, no. Though Mrs. Bud was functionally illiterate, she could make out her name written in neat bold script on the front of the envelope. Setting herself at the kitchen table, she carefully tore open the envelope and removed the folded sheet inside, but she had trouble reading what the letter said. It was the one time in her life that her illiteracy, illiteracy proved to be a blessing. Then how did she read it? 
Oh god, this just gets worse and worse the more I read. Wait, so how did the mum read the letter? Fresh peanut butter, something Fish said to another woman in a letter telling her how he wanted to eat her feet. I can already hear what Albert Fish wrote in that letter he sent to Grace's mum in the last part of the song. So the reverse version is the letter. Oh my god. I, 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 sorry, I just don't know what to say. Like, I might watch this again, get a bit of an understanding, a bit more of an understand. Oh my god, no, I don't want to. What if I. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's all for outside, I guess. I've done four different locations, which is just turn the camera around. I'm a good YouTuber. <coughs> ah, look at me, I'm back. I'm inside because outside's scary. Grass hurts, man. Okay, so you would never believe what I decided to do. Okay, it, it's insane. It's stupid. I'm not joking. I decided to rewatch the entire music video and it became a lot more creepier. Oh man, it's just. <sighs> My light turned off. <laughs> the eeriness of the song became a lot more ominous. Ominous, ominous, ominous. It became ominous. And it got me a lot more sickerous. <coughs> Not that type of sick, but like that, that's just a word I made up. It just made me a lot more sick, okay? Like legitimately, it's, it, the song just became a lot more sickening to me. It was, it, it, it was terrible. Absolutely terrible. All right, so now it's time for me to actually like go to my setup. <sighs> Done. I, I'm I'm at my setup. I I didn't set up the computer to record anything. Okay. I'm still here. <laughs> oh, now we're here. Wow. Fascinating. Magic. Look at this. I don't know how I missed that when I was reading them before. The answer to my question was right there. But that ruined me. Okay, so just picture someone young reading this letter to you. Reading the letter about what happened to your daughter. And this is the worst part here. Realizing that the young person wouldn't have had to read it out loud if I was able to read. It, it haunts me. It, it legitimately haunts me that that is how the letter got read out to the mum. And the more I read into this, the worse and worse it got. And I can and legitimately say I hate this song. It, it has, it's given me nightmares, mentally ruined me, it's too much. It's just too much. This is what one of my nightmares was about. I was witnessing everything as a ghost and I could not stop it. I could not stop the killing, I could not stop them getting lurid, I could not stop the son reading the letter to the mum. I just couldn't do anything. I was just there watching and I couldn't do anything. It was, it was terrible. It was, I hate it so much. And this is where I gotta say. Vocaloid songs are upbeat and happy, they said. Vocaloid songs are wholesome, they said. Then why am I having nightmares? Like, this is just so depressing, but at the same time, it's impressive. The producer for this song managed to put in so many emotions to a computer program singing voice and it, it, it's amazing how that can happen. But sometimes going too far for a topic is just going too far. And it gets even worse. There's a reversed version of the song, and I'm not sure if I ever want to watch it, or react to it, or anything like that. But in the future, I might. I, 
I said on my Patreon video that I will be doing a reaction to it, but after everything that this song has done to me, I don't want it to get any worse for me. So yeah, this is the song that gave me nightmares. Terrible ones at that. And now, this is where I say, I want a wee break from Vocaloid. It's just, I don't want to become a channel where it's all about Vocaloid, okay? I don't want, I want to be a channel where it's all about Japanese media. I want to do stuff on like, other Japanese songs, like anime. I want to do stuff on food. I want to, I, I want to do a lot of content with just the Japanese culture. Um, so I'm going to have a wee break from this. So stay tuned for my next video on 80s anime openings. But yeah, uh, other than that, that's basically all for this video. I hope you guys somehow enjoyed. Um, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my goddamn best, all right? <laughs> but yeah, other than that, I hope you guys all have a good day. And I definitely want you guys to keep smiling. And definitely subscribe to the channel to help support me make my dream come true. And if you want to watch my reaction slash discovery on the song then all you need to do is just head on over to my patreon for just one new zealand dollar that will help support me and you get access to a whole video just for you guys and more <laughs> but yeah other than that peace